When making guacamole, most people don't leave the skin on the avocado. But I've never been like most people. My name is Jacob Alexander, and I've known all my life that being a cook is my dream. One time I pretended to fall asleep in the car seat while my mama chopped lettuce and tomatoes on the counter. But what she didn't know was that I wasn't really sleeping. It was the first time I had ever been so close to a pot. It was as if the stove called my name. Jacob, come here. It was beautiful. It was magical. Other kids were sued to sleep by teddy bears and blankies. I had my avocado. <laughs> I knew that I've always been different in life, and that includes cooking. Never like to do the same dish twice. Experimenting is my soul. Yes, sometimes people would spit out when they put my food in their mouth. But it wasn't my fault, it was them. They just didn't understand. The fame, the recognition, I've always wanted it, but people just did not understand my cooking. My mama said that I always had an ugly cry ever since I was a baby. <laughs> I don't know what she was talking about. I was a master chef by the age of 10. I knew I was going places. My mother, she always told me that I would be the best chef in the world. I was so happy. My mama, I love her so much. Here is where it gets tricky. Ma! Ma! Come here! What? Look what I made for you! Amigos, life as a cook is full of bumps in the road. My mama, the first time she ate one of my cakes, it proved to be fatal. The doctor said it was a slow and painful death. After my mama passed away, I couldn't go into a kitchen for a whole six months. <coughs> One night, 
my mama came to me in a dream. Ma, is that really you? Mom. What are you doing here? Make sure you follow your dreams. What kind of, what kind of dream is that? Of cooking. Cooking? After I saw my mama in the dream, I was not going to let her down. All of the time, I prepared myself, mind, body, and soul. Keith? People have always told me that I would never amount to anything. That my food tasted too bad, it made people sick and throw up and have to run to the bathroom all of a sudden. But I kept fighting and now I am living the dream. See, sí, amigos, for some reason I've always had a fetish for avocados.